Ajara, Ajara Rerewa, Ninu Ajara Yi, Olu Oru Kawaye, Your vine, Your vine is so beautiful, In this so beautiful vine, Lord, please, Can't us worthy, Good evening, And you are welcome to the hour of truth, a program of arts and attitude ministry. How my name is Evangelist Akitola. Let us pray. Jehovah. Holy. Jesus Christ. Holy. Holy Michael. Holy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We adore you. Hallelujah. For giving all this great privilege. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, we do not take this grace for granted at all. Thank you, Father. Because we so much appreciate. That is not by our power, nor is it by our might, yes. but just by your grace. Oh, yes. Because you give all this grace, that is why the program is only right now. Thank you, Father. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank for the wonderful thing you are going to do at this hour. Thank you. We thank Lord. for the grace you are going to pose to others listening to us. Thank you. We thank you for your grace upon their life once again. Thank for you. For their Lord. testimony. Thank for you. you are not going to forsake them. Thank that you, this Lord. evening you are going to touch their lives. Oh, yes. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, anyway. I've sinned against you this evening, Father Lord. 
Forgive us in Jesus' Amen. name. We are asking for sanctification. Oh, yes. Father, come and sanctify us. Amen. Our bodies sanctify. Amen. Our souls sanctify. Amen. Those out of us sanctify. Them. This environment sanctify. Amen. Those who are watching the earth sanctify. Them. Amen. And this evening, Father Lord, come and nurture us. Amen. Come and speak to us. Amen. And give us a teachable heart. Amen. And at the end of tonight's program, let your name and your name alone be glorified. Amen. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening once again. You are welcome to the Hour of Proof, a program of as an attitude ministry. On that an attitude ministry, what do we do? We reveal you for you. That the word God has given unto us. Say, reveal them for them. Let them know who they are and the steps they need to take to enjoy my awesomeness. And this thing that we're talking about, the sovereignty, the, the, the sovereignty of God. Mm. Our God is sovereign. Oh, yes. He's sovereign. He's, he's, he's always at the top. He's, his power, he has power over everything. Thank you, Father. And this evening, he's going to prove his name for us in Jesus' name. Amen. His sovereignty. We know this evening in, in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we continue, I'm going to invite Lady Evangelist Ajara for seven minutes of worship. Remain blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 To the King of Kings, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. To the ancient of them, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. To the I am that I am, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. To the one who is, was, who is, and is to come, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Begin to wear those holy hands to the King of Kings, shout God. To the mighty one. To the one who has been upholding us, that has been fighting a battle for us, the one that has been sustaining us, providing all our needs. Father, we give you all the glory this evening. We say thank you, Father, for the gift of life. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for counting us worthy, for ministering to our heart, for ministering us to us, for touching our heart, and made it possible for us to be a partaker of this evening. If Father, we give you all the glory. We say, be it our glory. Glory for in Jesus' Amen. name. Oh, yes. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me, exalt the name of Jesus, join me too, magnify the Lord with me, oh yes, exalt the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, oh yes, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, Messiah is the King of kings. Messiah, Messiah, he's the Lord of lords. Messiah, Messiah, he's the king of kings. He's the king of kings. Messiah, he's the Lord of lords. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 oh, yeah, hallelujah, Messiah, Messiah. He's the King of Kings, King of Kings. Messiah, He's the Lord of Lords. Messiah, Messiah, He's the King of Kings, King of all Kings. 
Messiah. He's the Lord of Lords. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I have seen the Lord goodness. His mercies and compassion. Oh yes, I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I have seen the Lord goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good, so good, you are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, your love is so good, you are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. What about you? Oh Lord, you have been so good. He's so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life every day. Oh Lord, your love is so good. He's so good. You are so good to me. Lord, you are excellent in my life. Oh, oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, his mercies and judgment. Forever and ever, oh, praise his holy name, oh, God of Abraham, oh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the man of war, his mercy. Endure it forever and ever. Oh, praise His holy name. Oh, oh, glory, glory, hallelujah! His banner over us is love. Oh, glory, 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 hallelujah! His banner over us is love. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, is banner over us is love. Oh, his banner over us is love. Oh, glory, glory, oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, Christ, banner over me is love. What about you? Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Christ, but over me is love. Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Christ, but over me is love. Oh, yes, he's banner over us. He's love. Oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Jesus can call the word Johnny present. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, Jesus can call the word. Oh, yes, join me, say, come to draw, draw, draw. Draw from you again. Hey, hey, 
hey, I have come to draw, I have come to draw. Oh yes, draw, 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 draw from you again, draw from you again. Hey, hey, I have come to draw, I have come to draw strength. Oh yes, draw blessings, draw peace of mind, draw from you again. Oh hey. hey. Hey, 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 begin to tell him why you've come to draw, come to draw, oh yes, draw, draw, draw from you again, draw from you again, oh yes, hey, 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 begin to tell the Lord what you've come to draw from him tonight, because your joining tonight will never be in vain, I want you to set your spirit free right now, and begin to ask him what you want him to do, he are joining him tonight, because you must not join in vain. Yes. That's which he has proposed for your soul, for your spirit, for your life will be accomplished today. Begin to tell him what you want him to do in this joining, in your joining today. Begin to ask of him because he said we should ask and it shall be given unto us that we should seek and we should find, yes. that we should knock and the door will be opened unto us. Begin to pour your heart unto the king of glory this evening. Begin to ask of him what you want him to do. Begin to exalt his soul him. Begin to give all the glory back to him. Yes. For he has answered our prayer. Yes. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Father, we for thank you. Answer that prayer. Father, we hold on you. Today. Thank you, Never Jesus. Be in Amen. We lift you higher. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. name. Brethren, listen to me out there right now. Begin to. <laughs> Continue to worship him. Just say, Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Because he can never thank him enough. Oh, yes. Because, you Father, see, you. the enemy Father, always tries. The Bible made it clear Father, that Satan Father, is walking up and Father, down, looking for Father, who to devour. But no matter I how we try, he has no power over us. So let's appreciate him. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. No matter what the power of attack let's do into our life, it is it's meaningless. They fail him. So let us appreciate God. For us to be alive. But look at us as if dancing. We are happy. Just do it. I thank you. Father, I thank you. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Brethren, to me out there. I don't know what you are passing through. Let me assure you. When there is life, there is hope. Oh, yes. The moment you are still living, it's okay. Mm. Whatever God has said, going to do in your life, going to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. So relax yourself. Don't glorify him. Just continue to say, Father, you see, let me tell you, the moment you are still living, mm. no, anything can still happen. That's what we are going to talk about this night. The sovereign power of our God. And our God is sovereign. You see, his power is sovereign. It can change your story within a tip of an hour. Yes. And something great will happen in your life. Yes. So relax your mind. Don't say, Father, I thank you. Father, I Don't thank appreciate him more. Father, say, Father, I thank you. I, you I appreciate you. I, I honor you. I honor you. I honor you. I thank you, Father. I give all the praise. All the adoration. All the praise. All the adoration. I give unto you, Father. Glory. I give you all praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all praise. Amen. Amen. May He accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us end this prayer, this prayer quickly before we go into the world. No one prayer that we go away not to talk about. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name let of everyone, Jesus. Let everyone. Both my friend. Both my both friend. my enemy. Both my let enemy. Let them see the power let of your hand. Let them see the power of your hand. In my life. In my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, if your enemies alone are see the power of God in your life, the testimony will not continue. Mm. Even though that loves you, let them see his hand, the hand of God in your life. Let them be asking, ah, ah, already, my friend. How are you doing this thing? This is your God. This is your God. And this is your God. Please let me follow you. Let me tell you. You are still preaching the Bible to those who are to you. They are not listening to the hand of God in your life. When they see the hand of God in your life, they are going to tell you, I want to follow you to your church. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. That's going to be our testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. The Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in the mighty name of both Jesus. Both my friends. Both my friends. And my enemies. And my enemies. Let them see the power of your hand. Let them see the power of your hand. In my life. In my life. Begin to declare Jehovah. Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, Father in the mighty name of Jesus, even both my friends and my enemies, let them see the power of your hand in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, in my family, oh, my friend, from there, the matter that I see me yesterday, from today, let them see the power of your hand in my life, let them begin to see it, let them confess, let them know that I'm going to a living God. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. For you listening to me at this hour is not by accident. Mm. It's for a purpose. Yes. And the mighty name of Jesus again I declare. From now on, both your friends and your enemies, they will see the power of the hand of God in your life. Amen. I suck myself in the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. And I stand on that rock of ages. Oh, yes. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus. From now on, both your friend and your enemies, they will see the power of the hand of God in your life. Amen. They will see the power of, of, of God in your life. Amen. And you are going to testify. Amen. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Good evening once again. You are welcome to the Hour of Truth. The program of Art and Attitude Ministry. And my name still remain unchanged, Evangelist Akinshola. On that what we do, it, 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 we are giving a mandate to reveal you for you. See, we are going to pray, but that's not the calling, that's not the mandate. You see, we, prayer is good, but you see, when God asks, when, when, God will always give you a, an, an instruction when He calls you. If God, if, if, if you're a minister of God and you're not had a clear mandate, please go and ask Him. Because you don't be struggling. If you don't get your clear mandate, you'll be struggling. You'll be doing some other people's program. I'm not the, I'm, I, we can pray on this program, but let me tell you, I'm not mandated to pray. I can pray, yeah. But that's not the instruction. It's not. It's not the instruction. So that is, you see, before you pray, regularly, we'll be praying, but that is not the instruction. So I'm not trying to be very careful. Is that revealed? Is it's the wallet revealed? Them for they say, they, you have to reveal to them who they are. Let them know, let them know God, let them know how God let them know how to deal with God. And I pray as you are listening, God will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. As the word is going out into life this evening, you are going to testify. Amen. In Jesus' name. You see, I can pray for 30 hours. If God is not happy about this, I'm not wasting my time. Yes. If, if he said I don't I do not send you, what am I going to do? I don't be wasting my time. Don't even call themselves. Let me see them. They be silly people's program. They be silly people's idea. Because they don't have a clear mandate. They don't. Some, you see, as, 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 some people that are giving uh, uh, the, the, the grace to pray. That is what they, they are called to do. Pray for me. God said, look, I call you. Pray for my people. And when they pray, God will answer the prayer. Because that is the mandate given to them. Some of us is what? Let them know the way they can be dealing with me. And we are going to adhere to that strictly. So I'm even survivor. But some people, some people are not even called at all. They call themselves. I come and see them. They'll be doing some, they'll be faking people, they'll be lying. That not be a person in Jesus' name. Amen. So this evening you are going to talk about the, about the topic. The sovereign, the, 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 the sovereign, the sovereign power of God. You see, we Christians that's one that baffles me. You call ourselves the child of God, and you know what? The power of God that we serve, we don't even believe in it. We don't trust it. We don't trust the power of God. It's sovereign power, we don't even believe in it. We are, we'll be shaking. And those are the other side. Don't, don't, those fake prophets, fake shepherds that join courts, that join all this, and uh, they have all this. There's no more belief in that, they have got in power. There's no more belief in it. That's why you can see. A, 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 all this according they will tell a, 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 a pastor that God called and, and that opened a church and said, Look, I, in three months I'm going to close down this, this church. They'll be telling a pastor like that. They'll tell a man of God. 
And if that man of God not careful, that thing was going to close down the church. I'm telling you. Somebody has said, I don't know what this hour of truth, good morning, Jesus, that in six months it's going to close. And some point believe in himself. But we that believe that we that serve God, and he's telling people, he's telling his friends, he's telling those that believe in him, he's showing that look, don't worry. In the next six months, all this good morning Jesus, this hour is going to close down. <laughs> but the more than a year now, not the two years now, it's not close down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because our God, the God we serve is sovereign. But you as a child of God, can you, can you really beat your chest and say your God is sovereign? Do you believe in the power of God to serve? A Christian will be shaking, will be frightening, will be frightening. Ah, the moment you are still afraid, you are not going anywhere. I know how it works. No matter how you respect the devil, will never like you. What they want to do is not what they want to do. Wicked people, the witch, the wizard, no matter what to do to them, what they want to do is what they want to do. Give them your head, they will match it, and they will still kill you. They don't want to kill you. The best thing is it. face them head on and begin to war with the Lord wholeheartedly. And you are going to be above them by the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible made it clear that I don't give the spirit of fear, but spirit of what? Of sound mind. Is that not said, put the devil where it belongs? What does the devil belong? Under your feet. Under your feet, where the devil belongs. All those fake prophets, folks, shepherds, all these useless pastors around, they are under your feet. You don't have to be afraid. The only thing you need to do is to be in accordance with God. This evening, I can say it's a week, it's, it's an if not testimony. We will discuss about, I, I, I want to talk about how sovereign our God is. What God has been doing, what He can do, what God is at was in the beginning, is now and forever it will be. We know about this story, but maybe you don't know, you don't know the effect, the importance of how weighty this story are. That way you are still afraid. Hey, the sovereign power of, the, of God. Our God is sovereign. Oh, yes. It's all in all. Yes. Hey, who lives in us? You get that who that lives in the world. In the world. So relax. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You see all those of the the, the, the occultists, the, 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 the bonies, the, the witches, the wizards, the abandoned come and see the way they put themselves. They are so full of themselves. Come and see them. But we can say, what are we doing? We will be shaking. Hey, uh, mm, mm, please leave me. Oh. I'm not part of it. Oh. I don't want trouble. The moment you are saying you don't want their trouble, they steal all your glory. The moment you say you don't want their trouble, they have stolen whatever that belongs to you. They have put you under their feet. That means that they will be controlling you. The glory God has given us, they have stolen it. But the moment you face them, what, 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 how, you, how you behave here, they are going to behave in the spiritual realm. When they try, they are going to fail. Amen. For so this evening, we talk about the sovereignty of our God. If you know how it's going to happen, you can, you can say, explain it, it is still not God. I will say it anywhere, anytime, T. You can say, explain how you are going to be blessed. Is it not God that's using your head? It's your mind that's using your brain. How God is going to do it, nobody knows. How God is going to be a miraculous God. He's a God of miracle. So you can't understand. It's beyond the physical. It's beyond what the brain can comprehend. To so never help us in Jesus' name. Amen. First of all, I want to consider the story of Abraham. And when God visited him one lovely afternoon like that. Hey, hey. Oh, it was just very lovely afternoon. Was on that tree, was enjoying himself, and these three men came visiting, and God was uh, God, God was among them. Abraham never knew, but it was a divine visitation. I pray the mighty name of Jesus. Heaven will visit you. Amen. In Jesus' name. The book of Genesis, chapter 18. Yes. Let's just know this story very well. I'm going to read just 
at the tip of it, two thousand post of it. Chapter eighteen from verse eight to fifteen. Eight to fifteen. Many And he took butter. And he took butter. And milk. Yeah. And the cow which yeah. he had dressed. Yes. And set it before them. Before this to be men. And he stood by them under the tree. Yes. And they, they didn't eat. Yes. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? Look at how the miracle begins. They said, Where is Sarah thy wife? They don't know where God, they don't know where Sarah is. No. That's the beginning of the conversation. Continue, man. And he said, Behold, in the tent. <laughs> and he said, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. <laughs> and lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Sarah and her, and Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. They were old and well stricken in age. And it seems to be with Sarah after the manner of women. You see, it seems to be in Sarah the manner of men. Can you imagine? They were too old to be doing what we are doing as husband and wife. Can you imagine? <laughs> Sarah of about 90 and Nera of 100. Can you imagine? And that voice can say, look, at this time, let's hear, Sarah going to have a baby. At 90. That is God for you. At that point, all human ideas, all human knowledge, whatever we understand, is beyond our reasoning. At that point, all human ideas are failed. At that point, what you cannot, you cannot have the idea, you cannot believe, you cannot understand. How a 90 year old woman is going to get is going to get pregnant. He doesn't even enjoy the, uh, the activity of man and woman again. Continue, man. 13. Yeah. No, sorry, 12. 12. And Sarah loved within herself. Because you see, Sarah has to love us. He could not believe it. Because it's no, it's his woman. And I can I can use a mighty. More than 90 now. And you are saying I'm gonna get pregnant. <laughs> That's funny. That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? What well, can you explain that? No medicine, no medical, no medical, no medical term can explain that. No human idea can say that. Can understand that's going to happen, as I said. If it is God, you cannot understand. You cannot explain it. We are still able to explain it. That means God is not sovereign. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, because it's the most powerful, you cannot explain how it's going to happen. Continue, ma. Saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a shorty bear a child which I'm whole? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, at that point in time, Sarah to Sarah, it is impossible. Those, I don't know the decision you are out there. I don't know what is bothering your mind. I don't know who you have visited. I don't know the report, the report they are giving unto you. I don't know how long you will be looking for a child. I don't know that child you are looking for. I don't know what to travel abroad. I don't know what the doctor is saying about you. I don't know what that prophet is saying about you. If God has not said so, let me tell you, they see oh. They say hey, you are sick, hey, you, you, you have cancer. Let me tell you, you say you say you have cancer. If God said no habit, you don't have it. They say hey, it's an attack. Someone has just told you a bullet. Who say, who say? If God has said it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Because your God is more than that. But I don't want we Christians and like I said, I, you see, you see where all these all these according dead people that are performing there, they are doing what all they want to do. They don't believe it's going to fail. They don't believe it. They don't, they will never believe it's going to fail. But when sometimes when God proves himself and that's him failed, they, they are going to think that maybe that person used a different power from somewhere. Hey. Amen? Amen. They never believe, you see, but that's why I look at Christians. That's why I come on this topic. 
God is in the beginning of the year. January is going to an end now. Let's have a good foundation. Let's know who we, who we believe, who we serve. Let's understand him. Let's, be, let's hold on to him. Don't waver. Don't waver. If he says he's going to set to you, he's going to set to you. Yes. For those of us abroad, our greatest problem is I want, want to be settled. If God says he's going to set, he's going to set to you. If you know how it's going to happen, forget it. That's not God. He can have to change the old the law of UK because of you alone. Don't doubt it. So say that loud. Because she couldn't believe. And God said, is there anything, up, is there anything too difficult for God to do? Please, write that one down. I'm reading it every morning. I don't know the situation you are this evening. But I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. The one who is in the powerful hand of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. God has started, you see, God told me, he said, look, you have to ask and I am to give unto you. And if truly he has told me that, look, you just ask and I will give unto you. And I decree and I declare at this hour, that situation you are, you are getting out of it in Jesus' name. Amen. The mighty hand of God will help you. Amen. I don't care if you believe or you don't believe. It's going to come to pass. Amen. So, say that loud. And God said, is that this God for God to do? Continue, man. Let's go now. At the time appointed. At the time appointed. I will return unto thee. Hey. According to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I loved not. For she was afraid. And he said, nay, thou didst love. Say the power of God. See, when God wants to do something. I, I know I so much like this passage. I so much love, love it so much. When God has determined to help us in our journey, He doesn't care about our ideas, about what we are doing. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that mighty hand of God, you are going to see it in your life. Amen. Say that said, say that lied. But God has not destroyed, not that, not, God has not, that has not destroyed, uh, that, that, that has not made God. To take his mind about giving her a son. So we hand of the Lord. And we work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So if our God, the God you serve, the God I serve, can make a, can make a 90 year old woman to get pregnant and have a son, can't you see how powerful our God is? I know you've been hearing this story several times, but I'm reminding you, I'm trying to show you, you this evening again. Can't you see how our God, how powerful our God is? Who can do that in the whole world, if not God? Who can make a, a, a woman of 30 years old to be pregnant and have a son with a man of 100 years? Eh? It can only be God yes. and will do it for you. Amen. If we answer your prayer. Amen. Don't doubt him. I beg you in the name of Jesus. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Don't doubt your God again. Don't be afraid. Don't let all these people get too scared. What you need to do is to hold on to your God. Listen to him. Love him. Now we're going to continue. Now after God gave them, after God gave them Isaac. Now he wants to prove himself again. He now he's not told Abraham said, Go and offer him a sacrifice to me. And Abraham listened. Can you imagine? Most of us, the problem we have is this we will never listen. We will be using our idea, our knowledge. We don't we don't like I said. Those are the other side that do not believe in God, that believe in these that are useless ways. They someone believe in that power too much. Ah, come and see them when they were when they are walking. You'll be surprised. They were too they were too full of themselves. This time I see them, don't shoot my head. I want to look at Christians. Christians will be afraid. 
Hey, please don't let hey, leave me alone. Mo. Hey, I don't want problem. Mo. Hey, I don't want that problem. Ah, see, I see you. Oh my God. See, you say no more problem. What do you achieve? Which level are you? You are still at that point. Nothing special happened in your life. Nothing. What are you? Look at it. You say, I don't want them. I want to sell my own. Let me just be on my own. What do, they, what do you do? What do, what do you gain? You have, have you come in How many have you? How many have you have? How many pounds do you have in your, in your bank account? You don't let us in Jesus' name. Amen. Now he said, Go and offer him as a sacrifice to me. Or he, he knew what he's going to do. You know this story very well. Let's do it again. That's uh, Genesis 22 from 9 to 14. 9 to 14. Yeah, Genesis 22, 9 to 14, please. And they came to the place which God had told him of. Yes. And Abraham built an altar there. Yes. And laid the wood in order. In order. And bound Isaac his son. son. And laid him on the altar upon the wood. Yes. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. His son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here yeah, am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God. Seeing thou art not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Mm. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him a ram caught in a ticket, tic, tic, ticket. ticket by his arms. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for burnt offering in the stead of his son. Yeah. And Abraham I, I thought, called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I going to bring out there? Abraham has said that they could not have a child on that 1900 years old. And God gave them that child. I said, go and offer my sacrifice unto me. And Abraham listened. And at the point of offering his son a sacrifice, God made a provision. I said, no, don't do that. I will know who Abraham is up to now. I have to tell people, we will be singing, Abraham blessing Samai. Abraham blessing Samai. I am blessed in the morning, in the noon, in the evening. Abraham blesses a man. But listen to you. They say you just pay 10% of your income. 10% though. You are listening to Daddy Freeze. That say don't pay. <laughs> they don't let us in Jesus' name. Amen. They say pay 10% of your income. Daddy Freeze said don't pay. They say you don't have to pay tight. But you want Abraham blessing. That this I want to, I want to offer is, is, is only son as a sacrifice. Can you see where you are missing it? And our God is unquestionable, mm -hmm. He's sovereign. Whatever He likes to do, He will do. He will do. Where you worship, there's nothing you do there that you need to support the church. Even some pastors. What they are doing in church is all about God. It's about their pocket. It's money, money. Bring money, 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 money. And they want blessing. They want promotion. They want to be known. You can you are wasting your time, brethren. In that position, you are wasting your time. Abraham offered his son. He wanted to offer his son a sacrifice. He listened. You, you are not paying your tithe. No offering. Nothing you are doing to even help the work of God. You are doing everything for your own selfish interest. Your pockets, your mouth, are going to eat. It's your position. I pity you. I think I'm going to enjoy His grace. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. You better appreciate him. Listen to him. Obey him. Is it not on the other side? It is said, 1 a.m. in the morning, wake up. Wait, 1 a.m., wake up. And recite this thing. 
I'm telling you, by 12.30, they have woken up. They'll be waiting. To, 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 by the time it's 1 a.m. like this, they will start the incantation. 1 a.m., drink, a, a, drink a, 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 a bottle of red oil. I'm telling you, that 1 a.m., they will drink the oil. I begin to make it that incantation because there's someone believe in that their power. But we'll look at you, say so we're having fasting and prayer. Fasting 12 o'clock by 9 o'clock by 9 a.m. You are eating. Mm. You know, said our God is not wicked. Our God is not wicked. He's not wicked, too. He's not wicked. But I'm not listening. Come to church 10 a.m. in the morning. In the 10 a.m., you are going to you, 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 by 11 a.m., you are just going there. Mm. And by the time you spend another one hour, two hours, you say the service is too long. I'm going. Let us pray for 30 minutes. You are bored already. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. You are toiling with the sovereign power of the Lord. <clears throat> Our God is merciful, but mind you. He said, it was a what? It's a two-edged sword. Hmm. We are not the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's about Abraham. Now let's take a little bit further. That's God himself dealing with Abraham. Now, I want to talk about these prophets. These are the prophets of God. And we are going to see how sovereign as of God was in their lives. Let you know the account of Prophet Elijah and that widow of Sarifas. Elijah, well, Elijah has not, nothing more to eat because the book, the book dried up. And God said he has prepared a widow for him in Sarifas. And this widow has nothing, nothing, nothing. This widow is about to eat his last meal and die. And God said, go there. Go there. It's going, to, it's going to feed you. Can you imagine? If God can do that, why are you still doubting your brethren? Why are you afraid? It's going to feed you. Whatever you desire is going to give unto you. Don't doubt him. Try to understand how powerful he is. Don't underestimate his power. Don't look down at his, at his sovereignty. He can do and undo. Whatever he says he's going to do, he's going to do it. He told his prophet, go to Salifat and prepare a way to there for you. And he has nothing. You know the story very well. Let's go into it. That is, um, in, 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 that's, that's the first king, chapter 17. They were from verse 7 to 16. Notice what happens there. Seven to seven. Eli yeah, uh, first to 17. Yeah. From verse 7, please. And it came to pass yes. after a while that the brook dried up. The brook dried up. Because there had been no rain in the land. Mm. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Seraphat, which belongeth to Zidon, and dry there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. He has commanded a widow woman. This is a widow woman. He doesn't have a husband. And he has nothing to do. Nothing to eat. No money, nothing. In, in their, they will have their last food. They are going to eat that food and die. And God commanded, he has commanded her to, to be taking care of Abraham, um, of Elijah. Can you imagine? Hey, oh my God. I say, let me tell you this again. If you still understand how you are going to get that your visa, to America or to Germany or to London, it's you see your head that is it telling you. Even though that decree you are traveling now, no one can stop it, and you cannot understand how it's going to happen. We, one thing we do to that is going to happen. We want to get a status. When you are in Germany, you are in America, you are in London, you get a status. If you are going to get a status, <laughs> is it not God? How will Elijah explain how, how a widow of Salifat that is about to eat his last meal and die? 
that's going to sustain him. But that one God lost it. That one God said, continue man. So he arose and went to Sarepha. Yeah. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. Hey. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in vessel that I may drink. Yeah. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. Hey. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel mm. and a little oil in a cruise. Yeah. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat and die. And, die. and Elijah said unto her, Fear yeah, not, go and do as thou art said, but make me therefore, therefore, a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus said the Lord, Lord of God of Israel, the barren of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Hallelujah. Let's 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 he believed on the instruction of God. <clears throat> because God has said, this man, in this widow, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to sustain thee. That we don't going to sustain Elijah. And Elijah hold on to what the Lord said. He does not doubt it. He doesn't say, hey, my God, hey, 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 I hear me, me, me. See this widow. How is this one going to fit me? No, 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 no. And I did not see that widow the way he is, the way she, she was, but was seeing the power of God around there. Yes. Because he believed in that sovereign power of God that whatever he said he's going to do, that is what he's going to do. Yes. He, he, Elijah, he, he, you see, God has, God has told Elijah. Said that woman is going to sustain thee, and Elijah hold on to that. No shaking. He does not doubt it in his mind. He believe what God said. He doesn't doubt it. But look at you. God said, "He said you're going to have a baby." And you say, eh, "Oh, this is my husband." Hey, I don't even know. I've been doing this in every time now. Hey, I've just seen my menstruation. You are complaining. You want to believe in what God is saying, what God said. Don't look at your present situation. Hey, if God said going to supply your needs according to riches in glory, that is it. Believe it. Don't doubt it. Because you are not of the world. You are of the spirit. You are not of the flesh, you are of the spirit. So when people are saying, can't sit down, say lifting up. When they say they're stolen, tell them there's something. When they say, they say you are poor, tell them you are rich. Say they're not going to tell them that you, you are sick. Tell them you are healed, you are not sick. They say this is cancer. I say no cancer. This is just cancer. This is not. This is this, this is just this is what you want to go. And don't doubt it. Sometimes as human beings, we may want to be shaking, but don't shake. The moment you are shaking, oh, you are mixing it. The life us in Jesus' name. Amen. So Elijah got to that woman. What Elijah was seeing at that point was the sovereign power of God. That whatever he says he's going to do, that is what he's going to do. Yes. And he said, and he told that, you see, confidently, he instructed the, the, the widow, go and make me my own food first. Hey, oh my God. And as the woman was, was the one told was, 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 was to go and do that, and I said, look, Said, listen, your oil will never dry up. And that does it. He said, if flower will never, we will never, we never be wasted. That be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. That thing you are looking at and think it is impossible. In the mighty name of Jesus, that was the hand of God in it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
the sovereign hand of power of the Lord will manifest in your home, Amen. in your life, Jesus in your Amen. job, Amen. in your undertaking, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, please, read that uh, 14 for us again. 17, 14. Yeah. For thus says the Lord God of Israel, yeah. the barren of meal shall not wait. Yes, so. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail hey. until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Continue, my 15. 15. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many, many days. days. Continue, ma. And it's... the barren of the meal was said not. Neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord, which he spake. By Elijah. Elijah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about just joining us. We are talking about the sovereign power of God. And I said it's quite unfortunate. We Christians don't really believe in the power of the God we serve. We do not believe it. Our people on the other side, they are so proud of their small, small gods. Ah, oh my, you see, it ups, it's quickly my spirit, it ups me. When I see them on the other side, the way they behave, so that I don't shook my head. Does someone believe in that their small God? Come and see the way they are walking. Come and see the way they are talking. Does someone believe in it? They will live there, they go to uh, Nigeria, they go to they go and be doing some other useless thing. Because, because they, they someone believe in it. And when they try and they fail, they will say that maybe you are someone because after they attack you and they attack you, they, they well then they now see someone that really immerse himself in the word of God. That really immerse himself in the blood of Jesus. That really walking with God day and night. And God is protecting the person. They'll be thinking that what he does, what is in which court he is 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 he a no no he will show me uh he's, 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 he's a wizard. No, it's if you the one court of Jordan. Because I don't believe it's the way power of God. I beg in the name of Jesus, hold on to your God. Believe in your God. Whatever he said is going to do, that was going to do. Yes. Hey, oh my God. Don't doubt him, and it will surprise you. Amen. I've had so many testimonies. A lot of people who testimony have had mine, and I've seen the hand of God in so many ways. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to behold His glory. Amen. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And I stand on that rock of ages. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to behold God's glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. The mighty hand of God will work for you. Amen. And you are going to testify. Amen. So Elijah decreed. Because he believed what God said. He staggered not. He wavered not. Because what God said, God do what God is going to do. But look at you. As a child of God, you go to church, you go to Bible class, you go to on Tuesday, you go to Wednesday, you go to church, you go to all these meetings tonight, you go everywhere. But when they talk about the power of God, they are still afraid. Our time was fast, friends. We are going to continue next week because we are going to talk more about this topic, and um, we we talk about we are now talking about the good side. And we are going to go about the other side. How God can 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 really discipline, can be at the other side. You are not in tune with Him. So my God, great! next week we are going to continue on the series, the sovereign power of God. Let us pray. Jehovah, Holy Jesus Christ, Holy Holy Michael, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you, we adore you. Hallelujah. For you have helped us at this hour. May your name be glorified in Jesus. Name. Amen. You have spoken into our life, Father Lord. Let it dominate in Jesus' name. Amen. Stretching us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. In this journey of faith, Father Lord. Help us to grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Never forsake us, Lord. Amen. All these enemies, Father Lord, prove to them that you are truly our God. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. The, the mighty hands, Father Lord, I pray once again. Let me to feel it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Thanks so much for being there. See you next week. God bless you.